Chad's VASC is used quite a bit overseas, not as much as this country where we tend to just use the Chad score. Should we be using Chad's 2 VASC? That's the question. And from St. John Providence Health System, I'm with Dr. Chichuan Pia Sugungao, and the question here comes from an analysis of an NCDR registry, a local registry. Why did you do this study, first off? First, um, I have to tell you that uh, my fellowship program is very engaged in Pinnacle Registry. Um, the, all the 12 fellows, we participate in Pinnacle, and we help pilot the, um, the, the software, online software. Ooh. So every, after each um, patient visit, we enter the data online. And um, in my cl uh, clinical practice, I encountered some, you know, uh, Difficulty in, in, in patient with chat score, a low chat score. Um, for those with a chat score of one, the uh, uh, U.S. guideline said that you can the cumulative warfarin or aspirin is optional. So we don't really know what to do with in, in, in this group of patients, Correct. and many times we we let the patient decide. So um, there's some European data actually from Denmark suggest that if you cho choose some um, chat vast score you can uh, uh, delineate uh, this group of patients really well, but we don't have data in North American population. So now we have a, uh, a pilot trial here, a pilot study. What did you find in your analysis? So I did the um, look into this group of patients in Detroit um, population that we follow, and we, um, we found that uh, uh, we got about 161 patients with a CHAT score of 0 or 1, and we applied CHAT VAS score and, um, in all of them. And we found that uh, over 62% of this group who had a uh, higher a score, CHAT VAS score of 2 or more, and that will qualify them for warfarin therapy. And that is a change in the anticoagulation strategy. So you're really better stratifying these patients where before we weren't really sure what to do with. Right, correct. So what's the uh, message you're, you have here? If, uh, should we adopt CHADS 2 VASC? Should we adopt stay with CHADS 2, CHADS VASC? What do you want to do? I think for, for higher risk patient, CHAD score is still very convenient. It's, easy, uh, it's easier to calculate. And the treatment strategy remains the same. If you have CHAD score of 2, 3, or you apply CHAD VASC and you get higher score, um, it doesn't change management. But in the lower risk group, uh, using a chat VASP will give you a better um, stroke risk estimation and you can, you can design better uh, if you want to anticoagulate your patients. And um, one thing to note is the, the guidelines do differ. In European guidelines, a chat VAS um, of 2 with the estimated risk of 2.2% more in anticoagulation. But in our side, then ACC focus update in 2011 suggests that um, if you have CHAT score of 1 with estimated risk of 2.8, aspirin is optional. So you still have to decide what threshold you want to anticoagulate. Right. So for the CHED score in general, use it. But for the people who turn out to be 0 or 1, go to CHED's to yeah. ask and see what's happening there. It's not that much difficult. I mean, it's not more. It's a little more difficult, but not a whole whole lot. I would say five th seconds more. Oh wow! Okay, so it's really worth the time and effort yeah. to determine what to do with these patients. Yes. Thank you very much. And we have a lot of coverage from the ACC 13 meeting here in San Francisco for you on CardioSource World News. I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.